many people are looking at this week's game and saying, now we'll see what kind of team PC's got. Yeah. How do you feel going into it? Uh, yeah, I mean, before we didn't have a good practice today. Before today, I mean, I felt like the kids were ready to, uh, you know, at least put on display what they've learned so far. And I think they've done a good job. We've thrown a lot at them. And I think the first game showed they were able to do a lot of different things. And that's going to be important to the way we play the game. And uh, at the same time, you know, what I'm trying to teach them is consistency. You know, you can't have a roller coaster of a week, you know, up one practice, down one practice, up one practice. We won't, I'd rather have it just middle of the road consistency. So, you know, that all said, uh, you know, hopefully tomorrow they'll come back out and give me some confidence that we're going to go up there and, and be really competitive and, and have a chance to win the game. I have been fascinated. One of the things that's different is I've enjoyed watching you practice onside kicks. When that's down and you get it down to a certain science, and what I mean oh, no, is, bad down, no, what I mean is, what do you think ideally you what your percentage would be in recovering them? A long time ago, when I figured it up, we needed to get about 16 percent of them to be worth doing, yeah, because yeah. of the amount that we had won because of that and, and all that kind of stuff, that factor in field position and stuff. Um, but uh, uh, you know, I, we they come in clusters. I mean, it's like flipping a coin. You know, if I said a coin's going to be 50% heads, 50% tails, that doesn't mean it's going to go heads, tails, heads, tails. That means it's going to go tails, 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 heads, heads, tails, 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 tails you know. And so, uh, you know, I just have to get used to the fact that there's going to be dips in that whether I want it or not. But part of it is right now, you know, we've had a couple of these kids working on them all summer long. But that's not the same as, as if I'd have gotten them in the spring and they'd been working on them all that long. So we should get better as we go along in the season because they're still picking it up and learning the intricacies of what we're doing. What do you think of Camel? Oh, I think they're huge. I mean, they're a big, big football team. I think they're fast, they're physical. I mean, you can definitely tell when you look at them, they're a scholarship football team. Right. You know, I think we've got some guys that can play scholarship ball and, and should get scholarships, but they're two inches too short, maybe a step slow, maybe a little small, those kinds of things. But uh, in the end, I'll take my guys. They got football skills, and when they get after it, they're really, really good at football. And and uh, but you'll see a size differential in the offensive and defensive lines when we walk out there. And same thing with linebackers and all that. But but in the end, you know, uh, it's it's who it's who's willing to prepare the most during the week. I think that's going to win the game. I've seen. I spent my whole life working and covering at teams that are. I mean, the difference is in many ways is that you have to develop players. And they have players who arrive. I mean, I mean, I'm saying they probably should develop players, but I mean, that's that's the secret of the success at Furman, where I went to school. That over the years they have developed players and done that. But yeah, and you know, I, I think luckily, I, I mean, I think player development's huge in any program. Yeah. I gave a section of practice back in high school during the week for the sophomores to get to play in practice, you know, and, and practice our plays, even practice against the other team's defense. A, in case they got in, but B, that's how you develop. You teach them how to practice against the scout team. You teach them what to look for in keys. And I think that is important, and, and I think it's important here too. I mean, you may have an injury. You may have several injuries. I mean, football is a tough game. Uh, you may have move, guys move on in the portal afterwards. They've made it easier than ever for guys to leave. You better be developing the next guy all the time because it's not a, you know, it, it doesn't matter what you do now. It's a big picture thing that's more important because if we go win seven games this year and win two next year, the seven doesn't even matter next year, you know. So if you're going to if you're going to win in a consistent in a consistent way, you've got to develop football players and, and hopefully, you know, our practices reflect that we're trying to develop.